Officers and deputies. Ever put an unsuspecting asshole in his place while off duty? Here's what happened tonight. I went on a field trip with my children to the pumpkin farm a few years back. Which included my two year old daughter. It was all mommies and one other guy beside me. I gravitated towards him and we started chatting. We all got on the local public bus to go to the pumpkin farm. The driver of the bus was insane. He drove about 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. Ran two red lights. And ended up slamming on the brakes to avoid an accident on the second red light. Launching my daughter into the back of the seat in front of her. She was alright. And cried hysterically. When we stopped I had one of the mommies get off with my kids and went up to the driver and started ripping into him. I was ready to fight I was so pissed. I suddenly hear a calm voice from behind me say I'll handle this and turn around to the other dad holding a badge. He then asks the driver for his driver's license. Turns out that other dad was a highway patrolman. The driver was terminated. My dad was driving his undercover car one day. And this guy comes weaving down the lane doing about 30 over the speed limit. He finally gets right next to my dad. Who gets right behind the car that was the next lane over. So that this guy can't pass. The guy starts going ape. He's flipping out. Giving my dad the finger. Yadda yadda and finally swerves at him. My dad just laughs. Flips on the lights and siren. Said as the guy pulled over he could literally see him banging his head into the steering wheel. This was in the newspaper in Windsor, Ontario recently. Off-duty cop saw a kid going car to car checking for unlocked cars. Cop reclined his chair so he wasn't visible. Kid opens undercover cop's car. Promptly gets arrested. My dad's friend's sister used to be an FBI agent. He had this one story. Although I think it's more a story of idiosity than putting somebody in their place. So there was a bank. One day some guy walked in with a note asking for money. Typical robbery. However. When the teller started reading it. He started laughing. The moron decided to rob a bank that was next to an FBI building. Of course. All the agents did their banking there. And there was always at least 5 or 6 agents in there at any one time. From the way she tells it. As one agent was arresting the guy. There was a train of 10 or so agents walking by showing their badges. So I draw my Glock on him and yell the standard orders at him. Big Mac large fries chocolate milkshake. Good. Nice to see instant justice. Mick justice. Fries sold separately. Before college. I moved around a lot due to my dad being an FBI agent. At this particular time. My family and I lived in Las Vegas. And let's just say my dad was a very high level exec at the office there. This is a man in his 50s who is far beyond his field work days. But always insists on carrying his secondary. One day he's just getting some gas at a gas station when he sees a very excited woman come out of the convenience store. He had apparently just hit the jackpot at the gas station slots, yes. They are everywhere in Las Vegas. The woman enters the bathroom around the side of the building. And after a little while my dad hears screaming and struggling. He rushes around to see what's happening and catches a man running out of the women's bathroom. My dad immediately draws his weapon from his ankle holster. Yells stop. FBI. Gets the guy on the ground with his hands on his head. And cuffs and arrests him. The man was indeed robbing the woman of her winnings. And got hauled off by the police. After my dad waited out some very intimidating community confrontation without any backup, you cops definitely know how this is. For those of you who don't get the same weight of this that I do, this type of situation is incredibly uncommon for FBI agents. Especially for senior execs. Anyway. What bad luck for the mugger to have an FBI agent arrest him immediately after committing the crime. If karma is real. It certainly was it to this guy. Serves him right didn't happen to me. But some dumbass in my town got the brilliant idea to go around shooting people with an airsoft gun as they drove around. Turns out. One of the people they shot at was an off-duty cop. He drew his weapon. And was a fraction of a second away from shooting one of them right in the face. They were lucky that the cop saw the orange tip. 
I'm a police firearms officer in the UK, bit like SWAT in America. Me and a colleague were driving through a reasonably large town that we work in around midday. We were in civvies and a unmarked car. There had been loads of jewelry shop robberies recently so we were going along checking everyone was okay. We pulled up and entered one of them to chat to some of the people we know. My colleague went out the back to check some CCTV when a rather large gentleman enters the shop with a long coat on. He hands the assistant a note that read I have a gun. Don't me off. I will shoot you. Give me all your jewels. That is how he spelt it. The assistant shrieked which put matey boy off. Next thing he knew he was face down on the floor with a glock muzzle in the back of his neck. Never before have I seen a grown man cry as much as he did. Justice face.